the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, known by the acronym NASA, was established in 1958. NASA is responsible for the United States Civilian Space Program, as well as aeronautical discoveries and space research. High-profile examples of NASA's work include the Apollo moon landing missions, the Skylab Space Center and the Space Shuttle Program. NASA and other space agencies are now focusing on Mars, even going as far as saying they will put humans on the red planet within the next few years. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system, and it's also well known for its red appearance due to the iron oxide present on the surface. Dubbed the Red Planet, Mars is also thought to be the next best planet compared to Earth for inhabiting humans and sustaining life. Throughout the years Mars has been synonymous with aliens, and for its potential for there to be life forms inhabiting it. Countless references within film, TV and books are with the same theory that Mars was home to extraterrestrial life, one of the most famous being War of the Worlds. In recent years though, people have said they're able to back up these claims with mysterious photographs that have been sent back to us. Although NASA has come forward countless times and denied this, amateur researchers believe there's more going on on Mars than what we're being told about. One of the photographs that believers use is that of the three giant conical towers. Someone who was searching around the Mars surface for anomalies stumbled across what they described were large towers further saying that whatever these things were, they were clearly very big, and that it even looked as though they'd been placed in a line, with some comparing it to the pyramids in Giza that are aligned with the cosmos. The next problem the person pointed out was the enormous size of these things, saying that when measured they came in at 4.8 kilometers, or 2.9 miles in height. They say that such structures could not be created by nature, and that there's nothing around them that looks similar. The next thing they did was use Google Mars to get more detailed photographs. This was when they thought that these things must be artificial and not created by nature. Another interesting thing to note is that the researchers compared these images to older photographs that had been taken from the region, and although they said you can still see the structures in old archives, they noted that it looked as though NASA had made the area fuzzy, so that it was harder to see the structures. Although this might sound like an unfair claim, this isn't the first time that NASA have been accused of covering up certain areas. In fact, the agency themselves have said they've done this on a number of occasions. One UFO researcher said the following about the image. All this shows me is that what we're looking at are large towers of artificial origin. It's not like one of these things was found. We have three large towers in a row that are still standing tall. The ground around them is flat and there's nothing like them in the area. They are what they look like. These are large towers. End quote. NASA though have not got on board with this idea, and have said that although these images look interesting, people are going to be disappointed because what they're looking at is pareidolia where the mind tricks us into thinking that something is there when it isn't. Believers don't buy into this though, and have said that this is a standard reply from the agency. Another interesting Mars discovery is that of the levitating orb. Although not much information can be gathered on the image, online users have said they found what looks like an orb hovering above the Martian surface. Interestingly, those who spend large amounts of time looking through old NASA images have said these things can occasionally be seen in the sky. Orbs are not anything new to people who investigate UFO sightings. In fact, the orb is one of the most commonly reported unidentified flying objects. The thing is, people can't seem to agree on what they are. One thing they're known for is being able to travel at high speeds get into places that planes and helicopters would never be able to reach, things like forest woodlands in between buildings, and also making no noise. These things have been reported on hotspots like Skimwalker Ranch, where they've been observed flying up to the owners of the ranch, almost as if inspecting them. Investigators have theorized that this is what we're seeing in this image, 
but NASA's reply was that this is pareidolia, and that the ball isn't floating, it just looks like it. Another anomaly on Mars that sparks debate is that of the supposed crash flying saucer. This image was taken from a ravine on Mars, but people noticed that there appears to be an object wedged inside of it. It wasn't until it got shared online that people noticed this thing looks like an unidentified flying object. Something to note is that amateur researchers have said that various UFOs have been seen in the Martian sky, and sometimes these crafts are even picked up in images. Some amateur researchers though have said this photograph is hard to find online now, and this has only caused a variety of different theories to be put forward as to why this is. One UFO researcher said the following, I shared this image a few years back on a group, and the other day I remembered it so tried to find it. However, when I looked online it was impossible for me to find it. I couldn't find any trace of this image. It was like it vanished from the internet. I messaged one of the admins and they sent me the image, but only because they'd saved it from a previous post. It's strange that you can no longer find this photograph on the internet. End quote. As of right now, NASA have said that none of these things are true, and what people are seeing is either rocks on the Martian surface or pareidolia, where our minds tell us that something is there when it isn't. So what do you make of these alleged artifacts on Mars? Do you think they show anything of interest, or are they just rocks? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.